lesson is on the volume of triangular prisms and cylinders. If you remember from previous lessons where we found the volume of rectangular prisms, we found the area of the rectangle and multiplied it times the height. So the area of the base, which was a rectangle, times the height. So here we go. Same formula. Volume equals area of the base times the height of the prism. So the first thing you need to ask is what shape is the base? Let's take a look at this figure right here. Well, you might be tempted to say, well, there is a rectangle down here at the bottom, so it must be a rectangular prism. But it's not the same shape all the way around. So you have a triangle here, and yet you have a triangle going all the way across. So we're going to call it, if there's a triangle in it, we're going to say it is a triangular prism. And if you look here, you see here a circle at the bottom. Now you say, well, that's not a circle. That's an oval. Well, that's because of the way when we draw on a flat piece of paper, we have to make it look kind of like an oval to give it a three-dimensional look. But yes, trust me, that is a circle. So you find out what shape is the base and what is the formula for the area of the base. In, for a triangle, it is base times height divided by 2. You can use 1 half times base times height, but today we're going to use base times height divided by 2. And the area for a circle is pi times radius squared. And then you insert that into the formula. So the area of the base goes in here in the formula because it's volume equals base times height. So the area of the base, base times height divided by 2 times the height. For the circle, is volume equals pi times radius squared times the height. And that's pretty much what we do for that. So let's take a look at how that would look for solving it. Let's write down the form. We've got the formula written down here. So let's fill in the answers we know. We don't know the volume yet. But we do know the base of this triangle. It is 4. We do know the height of this triangle. And because it's a right triangle, it's the same as this side right here because it goes from the base or the bottom of the figure all the way to the top, straight up and down. It's not a, it's not don't get tempted to say, oh, I got to draw an angular line here. No, don't do that. It's a straight up, it's a perpendicular line. That means it goes straight up at a 90 degree angle from the base. So that is 3. And we know we're going to divide that by 2. And we're going to multiply that by the height. It's this one right down here, the height of the prism, which is 5. And so we simply solve this problem. Let's do what's in here first. Well, we have 4 times 3. 4 times 3 equals 6 divided by 2 times 5. And then 6 times 2, I'm sorry, 6 divided by 2 equals 3 times 5. 3 times 5 equals 15. So our volume equals 15 centimeters. And remember, it is cubed because it is in three dimensions. Let's take a look over here for our circular prism. Volume equals pi. Well, we know what pi is. It's 3.14. That is our approximation of pi that we're going to use. Times the radius. Well, they give you the radius here of 3. 3 squared times the height, which they give you is 5. So 3.14 times 3 squared. So let's do this. 3.14 times 3 times 3, because that's what 3 squared means. Um, sorry, this is supposed to be parentheses here. It's um, not cooperating with me today. So let's 3 times 3 is 9. times 3.14 sorry the drawings are very awkward today times 5 and 3.14 times 9 is 28.26 times 5 which equals a hundred and forty one point three centimeters 